Hi everybody, I'm Kara Bunton. I have over 42,000 sales on Etsy. And I was wondering if you're just as tired as I am of seeing people saying, I'm gonna tell you the secret to selling on Etsy. Do your SEO, take good photos, get a lot of sales. Yeah, those help. But I'm gonna tell you today three things that I think people really don't pay attention to as much as they should that can help you get sales on Etsy. It's not gonna guarantee anything. Nothing guarantees sales. I hate to tell you, I think you probably know that. But if you do the work and you put a lot of different things into place then it all adds up and it will get you traffic, it will get you sales. And on Etsy, sales lead to more sales. That's just how it works. So the first thing that I think people really don't pay enough attention to is their about section. Now the about section is not your profile on Etsy. And I have a public Facebook group that a lot of Etsy sellers have joined. We do ask questions when you apply to join the group because we want to see if your shop is Etsy legal and that kind of thing. One of the questions is, do you have an about section? A lot of people say, yes, I do. And then we go and look and there's no about section. And we do actually go look. And I think that they think that the about section is their profile, but the about section in your shop is a selling section. That's a section where you tell customers why they should buy from your shop instead of someone else's. It shouldn't be about you. It should be more about your business and what they're going to get you know, in, as a benefit of buying from your business as opposed to someone else's. So go in and put your about section, do it the right way. If you're not sure how to do an about section, just go to a bunch of big companies and go to their website, see what they write in their about section. They're not writing about, you know, I love to make knitting things from when I was a kid. Well, that's nice and you can put that in there, but that shouldn't be the primary thing that people see. It should be about your shop not about you, that's for your personal profile. You should also have policies filled out and that kind of goes with the about section. And if you have those sections filled out, it does help you a little bit in the search placement algorithm. That's a piece of it. That's not the whole thing, but it's a piece of it. So that will help you in search, but it's important to have your policies in place in your about section so the customers can come and kind of get to know your business, why your business will benefit them and what the policies are. And a lot of people don't have policies filled out. A lot of people don't have the about section filled out that's hurting you in the algorithm a little bit, but it's probably hurting you more with customers. And you should always think of the customer first. The second thing that I see people do a lot, and this drives me crazy, is that they don't have links to their shop on their other social media. And sometimes people will post on Facebook and they'll say something, they're asking a question about their sales or whatever. And I go to their Facebook profile or their Instagram profile to see what their shop is, and I can't find it. There are no links to the shop. You have to fill out your social media so that people can find your business. Now I know that some people have situations where you have stalkers. That's the only time that you should not have your business up there prominently for anyone to find it. Because what happens on social media, if you mention your business, even if you don't say the name of it, if you say, oh, I sell this on Etsy, people go to creep your profile. They're curious, they're nosy, they go and they creep your profile, they look for your shop. And if your shop isn't there, they're gonna stop looking because most people are not that dedicated and they don't have the time to hunt you down. But if you have everything linked appropriately so that people can find you when they want to, it makes it a lot easier for people to find your shop and to you know buy from you. And I know sometimes people say, I don't want my friends and family to find out. Well, why not? And I do understand that if you have people in your life who tend to be negative and who just have something to say about everything you do, just ignore them. You know, they're jealous. They probably want to start a business of their own and they haven't and they see you doing it and they're like, well, eh. I know who these people are. We all have at least one in our lives. Don't worry about them. Just post your links so that people who do want to find your business can. And if somebody has something to say about it, just tell them to, you know. The third thing that people don't do effectively is to use the Etsy system to their advantage. Now, Etsy is not just titles and tags and SEO and search. There's a whole system set up where you can post in the forums, you can follow people, you can favorite other shops, you can favorite listings. And there are ways to do this so that it will get you interaction and it'll get your listings spread out across Etsy. I have another video that I'll post and you can watch that after this one to kind of go over the favoriting thing because sometimes you'll have people come and favorite a lot of stuff. There's reasons for that and sometimes it's just to get your attention so that you'll go and favorite their shop and that's called networking. There's a way that you can network on Etsy that will get you traffic and it'll get your listings spread out. I don't see people doing this enough. And when I do see it, I tend to see them playing the following games where you're like, oh, follow one of my listings. I'll follow your, that's not how you do it. You need to be authentic with it and you need to really kind of favorite things that you do like. Use the Etsy system, fill out your about section and your policies and link appropriately. And you're gonna get a lot more traffic than you thought just doing those things. 
It will help you in the long run in search. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will talk to you later.